In this next series of videos, we will be looking at muscles and joints. And there's two short stories uh, to tell you. Um, back in the day, there was a very famous U.S. volleyball player. Okay, she was a rising star playing in, uh, representing the USA in the Olympics. Uh, really young to maybe, I think, 25 or 24. Her name was Flo, nicknamed Flo Hyman. And uh, she made uh, big news with all her volleyball playing, but uh, she died during one of the Olympic Games. It was very sad, okay, in uh, 1986. Died suddenly during an Olympic volleyball game. And um, after this, a lot of attention was drawn to, you know, what was the cause. Turns out she had um, something like a heart something like heart failure and uh, turns out people figured out she had something called Marfan syndrome okay Marfan syndrome uh, involves a mutation in a gene that affects connective tissue something called fibrillin and it turns out that a defect in this particular gene makes that connective tissue relatively weak and so you get less force pulling down on the your muscles and, and your bones actually uh, during during growth spurts and so one effect of this is that people with Marfan syndrome tend to be uh, taller and skinnier. And this made uh, her physical body very good for, for volleyball playing. But unfortunately, that's not the, that connective tissue is not just between muscles and bones, but it's also um, in various important valves in the heart and other organs. And so what that means is that she had weaker heart valves and that's basically what ruptured and caused uh, her to die which is really sad and unfortunate um, another thing we're talking about muscles joints and, and bones another really kind of scary mutation you may have seen this it's been featured in various types of uh, medical related shows is something called FOP which is a mouthful here but it's fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva where you basically get a mistake in Messages that are transmitted through the cells, this is gene related as well too, and it actually causes um, extra bone growth from tissues that are supposed to be turning into things like muscle. And this is a problem, and uh, I'll let you take a look at some of the things here, but go ahead and look up FOP when you get a chance to find out a little bit more about that. So some basics, this next few things we're talking about are pretty basic, not too difficult. If you've ever eaten a chicken leg, KFC, yum yum, you know, this is what it looks like when you take a bite into it. You're actually biting into muscle, which is fantastic. And muscles are something I've been working hard all my life to try and develop, but uh, to no avail. But you heard of tendons. This is something I like to eat. Tendons are the yummy part uh, in a lot of kind of Asian dishes, I guess. And uh, actually a bunch of these things that all my other friends don't want to eat, I'll be happy to eat them. The tendons attach the muscles to bone. You probably heard about that. Ligaments basically connect bones to bone and prevent dislocation. So these two get people get confused about the differences between these. Muscles, you know what they are, but scientifically speaking, they help to provide the force needed for moving your bones around, basically for muscle contraction. So every action that your body is doing, um, your muscles are helping to do that. Your bones give you your shape. Well, part of it, you can, you can work on that by eating extra food or going to the gym. They provide anchorage for the muscles and they act as levers, basically, so you can change the direction of these forces. Some of our bones um, work in a hinge-type joint and some allow for three-dimensional rotation. We'll see that in a bit. And nerves uh, help to stimulate the muscles to contract. And so all of these, the nervous system is working together with the muscular uh, skeletal system as well too. So really quickly, these are the main things you'll see. You should be able to draw a simple diagram like this, but you can probably guess what a lot of these pieces are here. So here, let's start with a type of muscle. One of the ones that people work, work really hard to try to get really buff looking muscles, but it's not really the biceps that make your arms look buff. It's actually the triceps behind. Triceps, if you look at somebody's buff arms, like my own, <laughs> the triceps actually are about two-thirds of the thickness of the arm, and the biceps look kind of cool too, but it's the triceps that really give the, the big guns type of look, all right? Uh, this bone here is called the humerus, okay? Um, and over here, we have a tendon that's attaching the biceps to the forearm. The forearm has two bones in here. 
the radius and the ulna. And you have some cartilage that's at the end of these bones to help protect. This is also something I enjoy eating. If you've ever had nankotsu in Japan, it's pretty much cartilage, fried cartilage, or it could be on a stick, whatever. It's delicious. Synovial fluid is some fluid that exists between some of these bones. It acts kind of like a, a lubrication fluid to help reduce some of the friction there. So same thing when your bike gets all squeaky, you go and you add oil to your bike. You add oil to your bike to prevent things from getting all squeaky. So when you get old, a lot of this synovial fluid can actually break down and, and leak. And then your bones can start rubbing against each other. The cartilage breaks down and that's not very good. Um, and so we try to fix things in various types of ways. Really quickly, this is the capsule, which uh, seals the joint. And in a different diagrammatic form, you can see there's the capsule again, the tendon of the triceps, which is connecting the, the uh, triceps muscle. Remember, if you want to work out, work on those triceps. Ligaments are keeping the bones together. That's good, just in case you work out too hard, like me when I go to the gym. I pump the iron, you know, and I want to keep make sure my bones are okay. So my ligaments are going to hold that all in place. And another tendon right there. So if you ever go to a restaurant and you want to try something new, say, excuse me, can I have the tendon? Followed by some cartilage. Followed by a good old KFC chicken leg. All right.